pesticides happen so frequently in Memphis that it's easy to become numb to them. But occasionally, a killing will strike a community-wide nerve. And that's exactly the case with the senseless murder of Reverend Artura Eason Williams, who was gunned down outside her Whitehaven home during a carjacking on Monday. Two juveniles are now in custody. One of them, a 15-year-old, is charged with murder, carjacking, and other crimes. I'll let the police and prosecutors discuss the legal proceedings. This commentary is about the life and life's work of Reverend Eason Williams. I did not know her personally, but since her murder, everything I've learned about her speaks to what a powerful force for good she was in Memphis and beyond. She was a native Memphian, a graduate of the University of Memphis and Memphis Theological Seminary. She was the beloved pastor of Capeville United Methodist Church before being named a district superintendent of the Tennessee and Western Kentucky Conference of the United Methodist Church. More than all that, she was a highly respected faith leader in our community, who ironically was just about to increase her involvement in initiatives to help reduce gun violence in Memphis and nationwide. As for her killer, hopefully justice will be served. But sadly, we have lost not just a strong woman of faith, but a person who loved humanity and made the world a little bit better. I'm Otis Sanford, and that's my point of view.